Hey folks, Aaron here, and today we're going to go over something totally different. Uh, something I haven't covered in a long time. Uh, video editing software. And this particular video is going to be based around the Windows 10 video editing software that just came out last October 2017. I believe it was October 1st. And it's, it's buried inside of their actual photos uh, software. I know it's really strange. But look at this. Look at, uh, hold on. I know, it's kind of gimmicky and great for kids, but like, uh, here, let's throw some lights across the top here. Check that out. Oh, and uh, let's see what else. Here, let's just do some random stuff. Uh, big flame. Uh, how about this? Comet? Uh, let's light over there. Let's come over here. Comet! Now, here, I'll, uh, here, let's do something else in my hand. Yeah, there. Maybe if I level it out there, that'll look better. Okay, these are just a couple of samples here. Kind of silly, I know. Nothing you'd really, uh, nothing professional looking, but fun. But this is a free software that's embedded in the Photos app now. If you've updated your Windows 10, if you have a Windows 10 computer. But it's a lot of fun. Very simple, very limited, unfortunately. Uh, you, you can't do any kind of voiceover work on it. So the only voice that you can hear is the voice in the video or you can add music tracks and it can mesh it. It can mesh the photos and videos you can pull and add. I'll, I'll just show you. It's real simple. What you need to do is go into the Windows Photos. You can either use this or you can come down here to the Windows and find your Photos tab here. So you're going to open that. Once you get in here, uh, up top, there's this thing Create. Now this is what they've added. When you hit create, you've got these options. Automatic video with music, custom video with music, and album. So let's tap on automatic video with music. Now once you hit that, you're going to come down here and just pick a whole bunch of photos. You would hit create. X, Y, Z. Okay. Creating video from select. And it does play music, but for copyright reasons, I can't let that play. So, you get the idea. So here's a sample of one that I did. Basically, I just picked a date, a folder with a date. I had a bunch of video and photos. It meshed it all together for me. I changed to a different theme. It put the music, the photo changed to the beat of the music, and it gave me this awesome little video of my kids on this day. Neat little trick. So anyways... What I did here, what I like, is the custom video with music. Now, here you can do the same thing, or you can take your own video, hit create, drag this down here in the storyboard, and you can add other things as you go if you want. But I'm going to add this here, and what you can do now is you can add music if you want. You can change the theme, and by change the theme, I mean you add a theme uh, any of these so here let's go to something like electric themes will add music to the video and you can pick through different types of music that it offers or you can use your own and it will change the appearance of the video to whatever color scheme you want to go to okay create custom video create I'm going to use this. This is the original. Okay, now I'm going to take this and drag it and drop it. So this is before I added any filters. Check this out. The filters are really pretty cool. Now, denim. And what I like about that's a horrible picture of me. Oh, geez. That's never a good picture. Oh, geez. All right, let's just, uh, like, yeah, I like that. There you go. One. Ah, oh, geez, that's horrible too. So anyways, here's the, as you can see, and I'll just hold this, whatever this is, throughout. So I had adventure set for the one I just uh, did. Let's see how Check it that out. Adventure. Oh, and, uh, oh, let's see, brassy. What is uh, brassy. Let's see what else. Here, let's just do. Kind of funky. So here's original. Classic. You get the gist. Really neat. Um, this adventure looks really good. I like that. 
Okay, now let's go to the 3D effects here. These are really easy and really cool. Well, I guess they're only as cool as you think they are, but let's see. Oh, let's add some jack-o'-lanterns. How weird is this? I know, kind of gimmicky and great for kids, but like, uh, oh, kind of cool. here, let's throw some lights across the top. Now here you can either, you can click on it, you can delete it, you can come up here to add another one, and you can just do this with any of them. And one thing I want to show you here that's really cool about these is that you can, um, let's find a flame. You can actually anchor them to a spot. So is all you do, attach to a point, come over here, and then this anchor is where you're going to find the point, and you're going to attach it to the brim of my hat. Let's see how well it holds. So again, just another neat little feature to add here. Let's take that a little longer. So here you can adjust, as you can see, it's just so easy to use. I mean, there's no learning curve here. I'm showing you right now, you can go do it just as well as anybody who's done it for a long time. It's just so simple. Okay, folks, I think that's where I'm going to end it. I'm going to play on the screen here just some samples for you as I'm closing out here. But again, it is in your Photos app in Windows 10. Um, it's embedded in there. I know it's kind of strange, but it's in there and it's fairly new. Uh, as you saw there, it's very simple. And hopefully this video helps explain it a little better and helps you get started on it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a fantastic day. We'll see you soon.